Hello everyone. Now in this particular video, we are going to discuss question number 11 of GATE DA24 exam. Now in this question, now this question was asked for one mark. Simple question, nothing in this particular question. And student think that GATE exam is difficult. No. If you see this type of question, student generally ignore this part while preparing for the course, right? They think that paper is difficult and they generally say this type of question is pretty easy and not going to ask in the gate exam. But not like that. If you see all the one mark question, they are pretty simple. Okay. Now let's discuss this question. Consider the following statements. First statement is that the mean and the variance of poison random variable are equal. So we should know what is this poison distribution and the probability mass function related to that. Okay. So, if I talk about the poison distribution, it is related to a, a discrete random variables, right? And the probability mass function f of x or I can say probability of x at equals to x is given by what? This particular thing. So, lambda, lambda is a constant that is positive constant or I can say parameter of distribution. Lambda to the power x into e to the power minus lambda divided by x factorial. So, this is what the function for a Poisson distribution is, okay. And for this particular distribution, the mean that is basically mu is what? Lambda. Variance is what? Lambda that is sigma square and sigma that is standard deviation is what? Under root of lambda, okay. So, this thing you have to remember regarding the Poisson distribution. They can ask one question like this for one marks or they can simply give you the problem statement and tell me the variance or mean for the given distribution. They can ask question based on this also. Okay. So, if you see the first statement, the mean and the variance of a Poisson random variable are equal. So, this is what this particular statement is saying. Mean and variance are equal. So, my first statement is correct. Okay. Now, what about the second statement for a standard normal distribution? Okay. Standard normal random variable. So, if you see this particular distribution, this is my normal distribution having mu right in the center. But if I talk about the standard normal distribution, here I know that mu that is mean is basically 0 and my variance is what? 1 that is my standard deviation sigma is also 1 right so we generally say that this is mu equals to 0 and this is mu plus sigma and this is mu minus sigma in the case of normal distribution but in the case of standard normal distribution this is 0 this is 1 this is minus 1 right so we generally represent the standard normal variable that is z like this normal distribution of 0 comma 1 that is mu 0 and variance 1. Okay. So, second statement is also correct. So, it means my option number A, both 1 and 2 are correct. So, simple question, you can solve this question in 1 minute, 1 minute for 1 marks. Okay. But if you know this particular thing. So, that's it from this particular video. I hope you understand uh, this particular question. And please don't think that this type of question is not going to ask in gate exam. Gate exam is not that difficult. Almost 50% of the question are easy, but the syllabus is huge and due to time constraint and due to practice, that makes this particular exam difficult. Okay. So, I hope you understand this particular question. So, that's it from this particular video. If you like this particular video solution, please hit a like button and do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay. Thank you.